Some people have expressed growing concern over the experiments conducted at the Large Hadron Collider, fearing that scientists may be venturing into realms of physics they don't fully understand. While the goal is to unlock the universe's deepest secrets, critics argue that colliding particles at near light speeds could have unforeseen consequences. The accidental creation of gold or strange matter has only fueled these anxieties, with some worried we may inadvertently trigger events beyond our control. For centuries, alchemists pursued the elusive goal of turning lead into gold. While their experiments were rooted more in mysticism than science, the underlying desire to transmute one element into another has endured. In modern times, this age-old dream has taken on a new and unexpected life, not through ancient scrolls and bubbling flasks, but through the most advanced scientific instrument on the planet, the Large Hadron Collider at CERN in Switzerland. In a remarkable twist of irony and science, physicists working on the ALICE, a large ion collider experiment project at the Collider, accidentally achieved what generations of alchemists only dreamed of. They turned lead into gold. This astonishing transformation wasn't the product of a grand experiment designed to produce treasure, but rather a byproduct of experiments intended to replicate the conditions of the universe moments after the Big Bang. In this endeavor, gold emerged, not in bars or coins, but in the form of atomic nuclei, measured in tiny, almost inconceivably small quantities. The process behind this unintentional alchemy begins with the very structure of atoms. Modern atomic theory explains that the key difference between lead and gold lies in their atomic numbers. A lead atom contains 82 protons in its nucleus, while gold contains 79. Remove three protons from a lead atom and you essentially have gold, but the challenge lies in the enormous forces that hold atomic nuclei together. These are not ordinary forces, they involve the strong nuclear force, one of the four fundamental forces of nature, which binds protons and neutrons tightly together in the core of an atom. To overcome the strong nuclear force and extract protons from a lead nucleus requires extreme conditions. At the Collider, scientists achieved this by accelerating beams of lead ions to nearly the speed of light and smashing them together. These high-speed collisions either result in head-on impacts where the nuclei are obliterated and form a quark-gluon plasma, the substance that existed shortly after the Big Bang or in glancing blows. It is during these near misses that something extraordinary happens. When two positively charged lead nuclei come very close to each other without directly colliding, they generate extremely strong electromagnetic fields due to their charge and velocity. The resulting electric field between the two nuclei becomes so intense that it can overcome the binding energy of protons in the nucleus. In some cases, the field is strong enough to knock out a proton, or even two or three. When precisely three protons are removed from a lead nucleus, it transforms into gold. The ability to create gold in this way is a fascinating demonstration of nuclear physics, but it comes with several caveats. The quantity of gold produced is minuscule, only about 29 trillionths of a gram during the entirety of the experiment. Scientists estimate that during each second of lead ion collisions, approximately 89,000 gold nuclei are formed. During run two of the Collider from 2015 to 2018, the four major experiments at CERN collectively produced about 86 billion gold nuclei. While that number might sound enormous, the actual mass of the gold is still far below what would be needed for any practical or economic application. The detection of this accidental gold creation is performed using specialized instruments called zero-degree calorimeters. These devices are capable of detecting protons that have been ejected from the nuclei during collisions. While they cannot directly observe the resulting gold nuclei, the absence of specific numbers of protons combined with the energy readings allows scientists to infer which new elements have been produced. Interestingly, gold wasn't the only element generated through this process. By removing just one or two protons from a lead nucleus, the scientists also created thallium and mercury respectively. Each of these transformations is a demonstration of the same principle. Altering the number of protons in an atomic nucleus changes the element. Despite the allure of producing gold, the implications of these findings are not economic, but scientific. The accidental creation of gold is actually a side effect that complicates the operation of the collider. 
When a nucleus changes its composition by losing protons, it no longer follows the designed path through the collider's magnetic fields. These altered atoms are lost from the beam and eventually collide with the walls of the collider, reducing beam intensity and interfering with experiments. In this context, gold is not a prize, but a nuisance. Nevertheless, understanding this phenomenon is crucial. The data gathered helps physicists refine their models of how atomic nuclei behave under extreme conditions. It also informs future experiments, particularly as plans emerge for next-generation particle accelerators that will push the boundaries of energy and matter even further. The findings from the experiment serve as a powerful reminder of the wonders and complexities of modern physics. In recent months, mysterious photographs have begun circulating widely across social media platforms, depicting what appears to be a strange, dark, portal-like object hovering ominously above the complex of CERN's Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland. The images, eerie and compelling, show what some have described as a black ring or opening in the sky, surrounded by an unusual light distortion that gives the entire phenomenon an otherworldly appearance. The supposed event has generated a wave of speculation, concern and curiosity, reigniting questions about the nature of advanced scientific experimentation and its possible unintended consequences. The Large Hadron Collider, operated by the European Organization for Nuclear Research, is well known as the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. Located near Geneva, it stretches across a circular tunnel approximately 27 kilometers, or 16 miles long, which is buried deep beneath the Earth's surface. The most recent surge in public speculation stems from a series of photographs and videos shared by an amateur observer. According to the source, the footage was initially believed by some to have been taken in the United States, but it was later clarified that the images were captured in the skies above the CERN facility in Switzerland. The object in question is not just another vague light in the sky. It presents itself as a stark, black opening that some have likened to a portal. The anomaly appears stationary, hanging above the landscape like a hole in the atmosphere. One detail that viewers found particularly unnerving is that when looking directly into the center of the formation, the sky cannot be seen beyond it, as if it truly is a void. The person who recorded the event noted that people had pulled their cars to the side of the road to get a better look, with some stepping out to film the strange sight with their phones. What's more puzzling is that multiple individuals began commenting that they had dreams days prior about a portal opening in the sky. Many described the sensation of looking into the mysterious rift and feeling an overwhelming sense of peace or happiness, as though the experience was deeply spiritual or transcendent. These shared dreams, documented and time-stamped on personal social media profiles, have only added layers of mystery to an already bizarre incident. As the footage gained traction, theories began flooding in from every corner of the internet. Some proposed that it was simply a rare atmospheric phenomenon, perhaps the result of peculiar cloud formations, or even a trick of light. Others suggested something more speculative, that perhaps one of the ongoing high-energy experiments at CERN had triggered the anomaly. Given that many of CERN's operations are conducted deep underground and often at odd hours, it's not unreasonable to suggest that some form of experiment might have escaped public notice, especially if it was subtle enough to remain undetected outside of a photographic lens. Interestingly, several observers claimed that they saw glowing orbs exiting the dark formation. These orbs, described as bright spherical lights, moved in ways that defied conventional understanding of flight. Witnesses noted that they hovered for a brief moment, darted off at extreme speeds, then disappeared in the blink of an eye. One video that has since been deleted from the internet allegedly appeared to capture two of these luminous objects emerging from the dark ring before vanishing into the night sky. These types of orbs have long been associated with unexplained aerial phenomena, and are frequently reported in connection with unidentified flying objects. Their sudden appearance in conjunction with what many believe to be a portal adds a new and mysterious element to the event. Historically, orb sightings have been recorded across the world. They are typically described as glowing balls of light, often appearing white, blue or orange, and are noted for their ability to make rapid, erratic maneuvers that suggest a form of intelligent control. Unlike traditional aircraft, these orbs leave no trails, emit no sound, and often vanish without a trace. 
Despite numerous eyewitness reports, they remain among the most elusive aerial anomalies to photograph or document. Their presence in this recent event has only deepened the mystery and raised questions about the true nature of what occurred above CERN. This incident has reawakened older concerns from critics of the Large Hadron Collider. Ever since its construction, the Collider has been the subject of speculative theories ranging from the creation of miniature black holes to the accidental opening of dimensional rifts. While these ideas are dismissed by scientists as sensationalist and unsupported by evidence, they have found a persistent foothold in the public imagination. Events like the one captured in these photographs serve to amplify those concerns, not necessarily because of what is known, but because of what remains unknown. From a scientific standpoint, high-energy particle collisions can produce a range of exotic phenomena. These include short-lived particles and bursts of energy that mimic conditions just moments after the Big Bang. Although these reactions are expected and understood within the frameworks of modern physics, they remain fundamentally experimental. The energies involved are immense, and while rigorous safety protocols are followed, some believe that the potential for unintended consequences, no matter how remote, should not be ignored. The images of the black ring in the sky have not yet been formally addressed by CERN or any official scientific body. This silence has, perhaps inevitably, fueled further speculation. Some argue that the object could be a previously undocumented atmospheric event. Others insist that the timing, location and accompanying reports of orbs make it difficult to dismiss the incident as anything mundane. There's also the psychological aspect to consider. The human mind is drawn to pattern recognition, and when something as unusual and visually dramatic as a black ring in the sky appears, people are naturally compelled to seek meaning. The added element of shared dreams about a similar phenomenon lends an eerie synchronicity that's difficult to explain. Whether this is a case of collective coincidence or something more, it adds an emotional dimension to the mystery that resonates deeply with many people. As with many unexplained sightings, the lack of definitive evidence or a clear explanation has turned this event into a fertile ground for theories, ranging from the plausible to the extraordinary. Was the ring a freak meteorological anomaly, a previously unknown optical illusion, or the result of a classified scientific test?